Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and long time no see when it comes to uh, making this month uh, recap, I would say. Uh, I'm back on this and uh, let's do May and June together because there has been a lot of music still and uh, I'm just excited to share it and there's uh, a little bit more things to discuss actually, like for example, Last of Us 2, which I started doing Let's Play on them and I actually did three videos on Last of Us, but um, in case you're wondering about that, like why I have not been uploading like more uh, continue continuation, I feel like I'm gonna stop uh, with Last of Us 2 gameplay just because I feel like um, if I will continue playing and uploading the, uh, the gameplay on the channel, um, I'm gonna bombard uh, with the uh, gaming videos, my music channel, and like I just don't want to do that. Like the game is pretty long, uh, and like to be able to finish the game, I feel like I need to uh, make uh, around 20 videos. And right now I only did three. And um, when I'm seeing that you know not not many people are interested in uh, watching Last of Us uh, Two comparing to my uh, music uh, related videos, then I, I'm, I question like mm, maybe I should not do it. Uh, and there are the specifically dedicated gaming YouTube channels that are, you know, they, they do uh, their job better than I am, you know, they're specialists on that field. I'm not, I'm, uh, I, don't even, I didn't even want to call myself a specialist in music, but, you know, music at least is my thing. So um, I'm going to stick to music as of now, but definitely it was a great experience to play Last of Us 2 on camera and in case if you're interested, in case you want to spend time with me like just watching me playing, um, you know, a game and it's, uh, yeah, it's up there still, you can watch it, uh, free access and um, let's move on to music. As you know, this video is made because not only uh, this is an opportunity for me to share music I like to you, but also what you like, you can share to with me. Uh, I want to listen to what you listen to. I just want to explore what are my um, followers are up to. And yeah, so definitely throw, throw me some suggestions. Uh, I will check it out and I will give my opinion uh, on in the comments uh, under the under your comment. Uh, I will respond how I feel about the song or an album. I'm looking at my uh, May playlist right now. Uh, this is what I've been listening to in May. I don't want this playlist to define uh, my listening experience because I do actually listen to a lot more music and um, it just depends on my mood. Like, oh, like I want to listen to Brockhampton today and like maybe I can blast Brockhampton music um, even if it was not dropped in 2020, for example. Uh, you know, so, but again, like when it comes to what has been released in May, um, here it is and um, yeah, yeah, these are just the songs I picked. I decided to like. Um, maybe it's worthy of your attention, um, so check it out. Yeah, these are all the songs that I've been sort of uh, trying to suggest to you from May. And also, um, let me just highlight a couple of songs I really, really enjoy, like Rain On Me by Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Uh, Chromatica, the album itself is amazing, uh, but um, Rain On Me is just like, wow, 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 wow. It might be... Um, the best single yet for me the best song of 2020 so far uh, so yeah it's just that good in my view but um i've seen people that didn't lot did not like it and that's fine that's fine but um i personally uh really enjoy this song uh also i l y i love you baby by surf mess it's really chill it's really cool um i'm not sure if it's gonna be like on my best song of 2020 but it's just nice nice uh a remaster, I would say, not remaster, but like remake of a really popular song, especially if you like Kaigo. Um, this is like definitely for you because it's also like on a on a chill side of things. It's more electronic as well. Um, for a good day at the beach, if you're allowed to go to the beach in your city, or if you have a beach, or maybe like go to a swimming pool. Um, yeah, th like this song is this. <laughs> yeah, and this song is it for you. And I also want to point out there are two Ghana songs on this uh, playlist. Uh, yeah, I've been I've been enjoying this uh, Wana album. Uh, there are definitely some cool cool songs. Uh, Kata by Techno, also really dope. African beat, Afrobeat. If you are into Afrobeat, 
yeah, this is for you. And uh, MVP by Valor is actually my friend, my friend Sam, who has been featured on this channel before. Um, yeah, he he did a song. I really liked it. MVP, really dope uh, basketball references. If you're into NBA, check it out. And um, yeah, let's just move on because I can continue <laughs> talking more and more. Um, and then in June we have uh, Black Parade. Well, actually, this first half. This, the songs that you're seeing right now is completely related to like like a black parade I wanted to um, showcase black artists you know I only wanted to feature um, black artists there but um some couple of the songs are not actually from June for example the song by XXX Tentacion Whoa um, it was dropped in 2019 I believe or 2018 um, 2019 I think and I just, um, yeah, I actually ended up liking it. I, I'm not a big XXX Tentacion fan, but um, this one just uh, got me. I was playing NBA 2K20, and um, yeah, this one just uh, was on the menu, and yeah, I just uh, ended up listening to it a little bit more. Also, uh, the another actually related to game song um, is Jaden on my own featuring Kit Cudi. Uh, that that song was featured on PlayStation 5 trailer for new game of Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales edition and, and like on my own was There playing on the trailer and just like it was really cool. I was like wait a second. This is Kid Cudi humming Why I don't know this song and like apparently this was uh, on uh, Jaden's album and I I, and I listened to Ares barely because um, I don't know I I really love Jaden's album Sire, but I didn't really care much for Ares for some reason. And um, so I kind of missed um, this song on my own from that album. And it was like one of the last songs on the album as well. So I probably just even didn't listen to it that much um, when I was listening to Ares back in 2019. And then um, there are like incredible hip hop songs like uh, Willie Lloyd by Currency and Freddie Gibbs. And also, if you are into Schoolboy Q, there's Shoot Sideways, um, and just, and oh my god, I forgot about I Can't Breathe by Her, uh, you know, George Floyd, I Can't Breathe. Um, it's just, um, there's, this song was really well crafted actually, and it's uh, just um, gener generally like good pop song. You don't have to um, be conscious about, oh, like this is. Uh, related to Black Lives Matter movement, uh, I'm only listening to it because I want to get some knowledge from it, uh, about that. No, it's actually like if you just want to have a, even, you know, good time and just listen to um, just a good meaningful pop song. This is just literally it. I can breathe by her. There's a nice uh, guitar pattern and her. It kills it with performance. I just really love it. And I actually. Um, thought that I'm not gonna talk about songs at all I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you the playlist and move on to albums uh, but um yeah I end up <laughs> talking about it but um last part part two actually of June um there's another Lady Gaga song Sour Candy uh, and Blackpink uh, fucking amazing song and just uh, Sour Candy will most likely end up on best songs of 2020 uh, by the at the end of the year as well it's just so catchy, I just come back to it all the time. Um, Taken by Rosalia Travis Scott, really good as well. I Will Wait by Kygo, I literally like cried on camera <laughs> listening to that song when I was like, reacting to Kygo's latest album, Golden Hour. Um, literally uh, the most watched video uh, of all time on this YouTube channel, 45,000. Uh, I was really happy, thank you for watching by the way. Uh, Pelota by Kruan Bin. Pilota, um, it's kind of it's kind of like a Latino track, but it's like really groovy, nice. Um, I, I don't want to say rock; it's not rock at all. But like they they are identified as a rock band for some reason. But it's not rock, but it's just like uh, not really like pop mainstream, not reggaeton at all. It's like it's more, I would say, um, on the alternative side of things. But it's definitely like charismatic and groovy, gets you going. Pilota. Um, I like it. I like it. Uh, so, also there's um, uh, "Yo Pereo Sola" by Bad Bunny. Uh, I've heard this song when it actually came out as well, but at that time I just 
um, didn't really care for it that much. I cared about some other songs by Bad Bunny's, uh, by Bad Bunny um, on his newest album more. But then um, Yo Perilla saw his music video that came out later a little bit. Uh, just uh, and how massive this song became actually, yeah, it, it got it got me as well. Uh, the hype, uh, I really enjoy the song now. So your period so I added, um, even if it was not dropped in on July but much earlier. Uh, there's also Girl Like Me by Black Eyed Peas and Shakira. I um, love these two artists. Um, not to be to be honest, not the best song. Um, not not bad, but not like the best. But I actually wanted to add this song because it's just uh, it means a lot to me to see uh, Shakira and Black Eyed Peas together Shakira literally like um, one of my favorite uh, female artists and she's just so so adorable sexy uh, charismatic and lovely woman uh, in general and I, I adored her throughout my whole life pretty much in Black Eyed Peas as well like I grew up listening to Black Eyed Peas so I just um, yeah this song this collaboration means a lot to me, uh, a lot to me even if um, this song is not the best in my view but um, not bad and then there's like an interesting list of pop songs they um, but not your typical um, radio hits maybe well okay G girlfriend by Charlie Puth is pretty typical pretty pretty generic but um, it's still Charlie Puth it's still good to my ears at least but um, Candy Rappers by Somersault for example really good really good it's just a perfect song right now for summer uh you you don't want to miss it candy rappers definitely check it out it just puts you on a great mood it's awesome um and uh graceland 2 by phoebe bridgers um kind of explores those um you know when i listen to the song i always imagine ireland the reason i'm i'm mentioning ireland is because um uh, i imagine like this field like grass field like so green and you know when those xp wallpaper <laughs> you know that's what i imagine and like ireland in my view is just like so green and uh, i've never been there but it's just um the the song actually the sound uh when when you request an I irish song for example like maybe traditional irish song like the similar instrumentals are in the mix uh, like this graceland 2 by phoebe bridges and i um, just admire it. I just really love it. It's a really good song. Plus, Phoebe Bridgers' vocals are amazing. Her, um, it's just her voice is really pleasing to the ears. It's really nice. Her album in general is awesome. Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, it, it's getting a lot of praise on in the music community and on the internet. Um, and we're gonna talk about albums a little bit more, but um, I, I'm going ahead of myself. But uh, Don't Wanna by Haim, literally one of the best pop songs of 2020 uh amazing catchy chorus and um i just uh, cannot help myself but sing sing uh, along all the time i don't wanna mm. na, na, da, 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 da. i forgot the lyrics <laughs> but no but i i do um sing it along it's just amazing and then also uh so hot you're hurting my feelings by caroline Polichuk. um this song was um actually recommended by a lot of music reviewers i watch back in 2019 but i didn't really care much about uh, for it at that time i just don't i don't know why it just didn't click to me it was not a bad song but it's just like i didn't have a this i didn't have a desire to listen to it um but then now i, I came back to it, it's like actually oh yeah it's actually a really awesome song awesome again this was a list of pop songs um admire it admire it this are not like your like typical songs that are on on the radio that gets you know overplayed and then you're tired of it this is actually can um last for a bit longer um you can come back to it anytime and you know uh, not get tired of it well hopefully <laughs> um and then also how you like that by blackpink yeah that's the last song i posted on um, Instagram, I wanted to mention my Instagram as well because uh, uh, there at the end of the month I always like show the 15 second previews of each song I talk about on this playlist so definitely uh, follow me on Instagram as well just to simp on me as well <laughs> if you would like uh, just kidding, just kidding but uh, yeah like um, 
uh, if you want to just look at my pictures as well yeah there there is instagram uh just add me there and um yeah yeah these are my pics but also sorry there's more actually because at the time they were not even released yet these songs or i just didn't think of putting it on the playlist at that time but now i want to um yeah this this package of songs uh i really like it uh, like klk by arca featuring rosalia when i was doing my reaction video to uh arca i didn't really enjoy it that much uh, but now I actually do a lot. <laughs> I, I fuck with it. Also, Disclosure and Slow Tie and Amina, um, great song, My High. And then also there's a song, I'm blue, da boo dee, da boo da, da 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 You know, like that song, uh, that, uh, you know, really famous song actually. Um, it, it was remixed, remixed by Flume and uh, that was a really nice touch i actually really love this um, classic song blue by afl 65 and uh, to see flume himself to do a remix was awesome also there's rmr the album by him uh, drug dealing is a lost art i didn't really enjoy it. there were some uh, songs i just didn't uh, didn't i didn't like but there were some songs that i did like and uh, welfare uh with west side gun is a really good song a really good song and um and we are gonna end with um wash us in the blood by kanye west featuring Travis scott and also another song by kanye west uh, but this time is a feature ego death by ty dollar sign fk twix and skrillex uh yeah these were all uh cool songs so check it out if you haven't uh, again of course i don't expect you to listen to all of the songs i just mentioned but like you know if you like uh, this artist you know particular artist uh, and uh, it grabbed your attention um, definitely check it out check it out why not and uh, also let's talk about albums now again this episode is going to be the longest because it's it combines two months but um i'm, I'm still here i want to talk about it and um i'm sure you're having fun <laughs> we have pedals for armor by Haley williams i don't want to mention too much things so that we can move along fast but uh yeah Haley williams uh, from paramore if you are into Paramore, definitely listen to it. Haley Williams uh, did, didn't disappoint still. Uh, I'm glad that she also tried solo. It was not bad at all. And um, pe Pedals for Am Armor um, is not really pop. It's alternative. But um, if you are into pop, if you're into alternative, just just check it out. Because it's it's worth of your time. It's, uh, it's definitely a good album. Un Canto por Mexico Volume 1 by Natalia Lafourcade. This uh, um, album is from mexico it if you ha if you like the movie coco um you definitely will enjoy um natalia lafricada's album as well because uh, it explores traditional mexican music and also natalia lafricada actually was helping with creating songs for coco uh movie so um definitely um if you're into coco's soundtrack if you're into if you like that movie Definitely give uh, Natalia Lafourcade a chance. I really freaking love this album. I think um, it might be in my top 10 actually. Really awesome. Awesome. I, I have an awesome time listening to it. It's just so beautiful and nice. Tableau, Sunshine Kitty, Paul Prince Edition, High of Life by Future. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I did not expect that I'm gonna like the entire Future album again. Uh, this was not the first time I did enjoy Future's album, but it's been a while since I have enjoyed Future's album, so it was surprising that I enjoyed uh, Future's work again. But High of Life is actually really awesome, really awesome trap rap. If you're into it, definitely check it out. Wanna by Gunna. Now, <laughs> this man, this man um, is something else. But um, some people like like Gunna. Some people don't like Gunna. I'm I definitely on the side where you know people like Gunna. Um, so try it at your own risk. But um, I like him as a rapper. But he's not really like a rapper. I would say um, it's definitely hip hop rap. He's just like he's so smooth and calm and like. His energy sometimes might be like luster, but I just I just like his style. I don't know. There's something to it. Um, also, Child XCX, How I'm Feeling Now. This is uh, futuristic pop. Uh, if you want to listen to pop from year 3000, 
check out how I'm feeling now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, be blessed. Uh, definitely awesome album. Uh, but if you want to listen to pop that is current to our times, on uh, Chromatica by Lady Gaga. Chromatica is um, one of the best albums of the year for me. Um, really enjoy Lady Gaga. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, I again, uh, I always enjoyed Lady Gaga before, but um, yeah, I'm so glad that um, she came up with high quality album because not not every album by Lady Gaga is amazing, uh, to be honest with you. But Chromatica is definitely there, like at the, at the top or like one of the top albums on Lady Gaga's discography. Golden Hour by Kaigo. I give it a 10 out of 10. So, <laughs> uh, Granted, I'm not really coming back to Golden Hour that much, unfortunately. But uh, again, still amazing body of work. Still amazing. Uh, Kaigo did his thing. Uh, and then there's like three hip-hop albums like Alfredo, Lulu, and The Price of Tea in China. Alfredo by Freddy Giggs and The Alchemist. Uh, Lulu by Conway, The Machine, and The Alchemist as well. <laughs> Again, The Alchemist is a producer who create amazing hip hop beats. Um, really like it. And by the way, the albums I'm talking about, the songs I'm talking about, they're gonna be in the description box below. Um, mm, songs probably not, but albums, yes. And last three albums I'm gonna talk about, Black Eyed Peas, Translation. Translation, um, I, <laughs> I still on the fence of like, I don't know if it's it should be the best album or not. Um, I like the album, but I'm not sure if it's like the best album. Like, can be considered as one of the best albums of 2020. I'm not sure. Uh, Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers. We talked about it. And the uh, last album I want to mention, Women in Music Part 3 by Haim. I uh, made a video recently. Uh, check it out if you haven't, uh, if you're interested. Just um, a lot of lively, great uh, instrumentals on the record. Haim themselves told us that um, they were planning to play um, these songs from this album live. They were excited to perform. Uh, that's why they were accent. They put an accent on like live instruments, live instrumentals, not, not computerized, but actually organic, like guitar, and drums, and uh, arpeggios, and other other instruments is just um yeah but um, unfortunately coronavirus happened but um again like this is just an incredible body of work i really uh, enjoyed listening to it i, I give it a 9 out of 10 it was a great pop album i still listen to it today these were my recommendations songs and albums that i uh, listened to and uh, liked uh, let me know in the comments below what you've been listening to again uh, i welcome all the recommendations thank you so much for watching and um, let's keep moving let's uh, keep hustling or or resting as well actually it's july <laughs> so actually let's let's rest especially uh since i'm about to graduate like literally on monday july 6th is the last day and uh, i will i will graduate you know july 6th like there is like a final exam i have but then the class is over and I'm not, I'm no longer gonna study. The day has come. It's fucking exciting. <laughs> it's definitely exciting, man. So, yeah, I'm gonna rest a bit for sure after that. Yeah, coronavirus, huh? <laughs> Places are being locked again. Like, it's phase two now of uh, being in quarantine. Um, it seemed like things are opening up. Now they are closing everything again. I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, I don't know when we're gonna transition to um, like lives that we had before. And I didn't want to use normal back to normal because normal was never normal. Because normal, we had a lot of um, uh, injustice going on. But um, hopefully, we will be able to uh, turn things for the better in the future. Again, though. Again, is it, I just want to fly to my <laughs> country, Uzbekistan, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I want to uh, see my relatives and friends. I uh, was really excited and then, like, to be there in summer. But, um, yeah, the, door, the doors are locked. I don't know what to do now. 
<laughs> but uh, again, anyway, we're still here listening music in the United States. Where um, United States, I mean, it's a good country at the end of the day uh, to live in. I'm not sure about their politics, but to live in the United States, not that bad <laughs> at all. Anyway, I've been ranting. Thank you so much. Again, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Goodbye.